welcome to this video. So this is the first in probably a series of 100 days of productivity on my channel. This was, I want to say a challenge um, created by M Studies on Tumblr and I want to be more productive during this year so I decided what better way to do it than to try and push myself to do something productive every day and record it for 100 days. Um, some of these days will probably be just filler because I've done stuff earlier in the day at college etc that were productive but I didn't record. But yes, that's the general gist. So here I am just planning out my uh, revision for my mocks. I don't have mocks until February but I want to be prepared for them. I've created a Quizlet with all of my French vocab in, which you'll see about now. <laughs> and I'm making sure that I revise using that. It took me probably about an hour to create this Quizlet, which it doesn't seem like it did because of how fast this video is, but it was ridiculous. There's 1,358 terms of vocab that I need to learn for this, like, test. Uh, if I want to know all of the AS vocab, which is what I'm meant to learn because my teacher hasn't created a specific paper for us and is just throwing us in a deep end and making us do a regular AS paper. So hopefully by creating this quiz and learning the stuff that I need to learn, I'll get a good grade in this and I guess we shall see how that goes. So I was literally just copying it across from the Word documents um, and then making sure that it was imported correctly um, and then I tried to share it with um, my Facebook group with my other co college like classes, my first year one and my second year one um, and then I just went onto the Quizlet, try and find the other class but I can't find it, um, hopefully I can join that class but if I don't it's not really the end of the world. Um, and then I was trying to find a printable to edit and turn into like a, uh, where I put my plan, but I couldn't. Also I had like a copyright flag so I had to change the audio on one of my videos and obviously I did this while I was working for some reason. So here I was just like making it look more cute but then it didn't actually end up working in the first place so I had to start again in a minute on pages. I created a pages document in which I had a calendar I didn't really know how I was going to do this, I didn't know whether I was have one day, one space for each day or what. In the end I decided that I just wanted to have a regular calendar so it would take less space out to print. Um, so it was pretty simple, to be honest I had to figure out how many words of vocab I was going to learn a day, which was originally 25, but then I realised that I wanted the week at the end of like before my box to be a revision week so I changed it to only 30 French words a day. Only 30. I changed it to 30 French words a day which is up from what it was. So that was good. <laughs> um, I also colour coded it, I haven't got up to that yet but um, just to make it clear to me when I look at it and I go oh so this colours French, this colours geography and this colours psychology just because it's more easy for me to look at. Um, I also made a note to myself at the bottom of the screen so that um, I can look at I know that I need to do this and I can't just forget about re reviewing my revision. So I'm just filling out the calendar now with all of the stuff that I need to do. I have quite a lot of topics to revise in psychology and I actually found out that this is slightly wrong um, and that I also will have started another topic that I need to revise. 
but as it'll be quite fresh in my mind um, and it hopefully it won't be too bad we'll see how this goes um, I just need to focus on the other topics now because they're older so then less fresh in my mind so here I am just color coding it making it look a bit pretty because it's gonna be up on my desk obviously aesthetics are the most important thing but I wanted it to be something that I want to look at So then I was finished with this, I was listening to all sorts of music while I was doing this. Taylor Swift and Mary Poppins mostly for some reason. So then I decided that I wanted to start working on my psychology but I there was a lot that I need to catch up on and I kind of got bored so I didn't do too much. I need to figure out what the best way is for me to go through and revise my research methods because it's just so long and so boring <laughs> it's much more difficult to revise research methods than really any other topic because a lot of it's like more like terms based and stuff so here I am just revising the first of my French vocab is this no, this is for my math key terms one. I have three that I had to learn, not last week, but this week. Um, so I'm just making my way through. I didn't get to learn 100% of the vocab um, that I was meant to learn. And I know that I most definitely need to learn a lot more. Um, quite often I'll click on just learn all accidentally before starting that so it's like 1% then I'm like that's not quite right I've learned a lot more of what I meant to learn by that so yes a lot of it's like key words and like phrases and stuff and like a lot quite a bit of it is easy for me to learn but then there's random phrases like to empty the dishwasher that is my least favorite french phrase i've decided since revising <laughs> since revising this because it's just so awful so what i was doing what i'm doing here is i'm just writing up all of the french words that caught me out while revising in quizlet they have like a sometimes missed section so the words that i know that I need to work on. I'm writing up onto these like memo pad. I'm using glue tack and I've stuck them all around my room, which is lots of fun. <laughs> I have about 40 up on my wall now. It's ridiculous. So again, a lot of this for the next like few weeks will be me going over this Quizlet vocab. It's so key that I learn this. So hopefully, hopefully. I get a good grade on my mock because I know that vocabulary and grammar they're where I fall low which is kind of the two key parts to learning a language but like I'll be able to read a text but there'll be a few words that I'm sort of like okay I, I don't know what you say so hopefully by doing this I'll be a lot better with it. I'm not expecting to get an A star in this mock but getting a B or a C would be nice. It would be a step up from what I got last year. So fingers crossed by doing this quiz, by revising constantly, I will get there. I've put a lot of time into learning the, um, what are they like? I have a Quizlet for the conditional present and I've learned that 100%. I did a little test on Quizlet and I got 100% on it, so I'm just proud of myself for putting my education first and knowing what I need to work on because at the end of last year I didn't get the best grades and so hopefully I can get some good grades this time around. So 
So here, again, I'm just writing them out to stick them all over my room. Um, yeah, I, I pick up on words obviously a lot better if I have them around my room because I spend a lot of time in my room. Um, I have one on my light switch, I have a few on the boiler cupboard. Um, so when I open the boiler or when I look, uh, I turn my light on and off, I can find it. Um, this is just me revising my vocab for the following week. Um, I have weekly vocab tests, that's not that surprising. But um, um, <laughs> I wasn't the best at revising them last year, like I found one of my vocab tests from last year and I got 30% and then I found my vocab test from this week and I got 85% and the 85% purely was because I made a few spelling mistakes that I know that I need to target but it's just like I have a goal of 80% each week and I'm finally reaching that because I'm putting the effort in which is so much better for me because I didn't think that I was gonna get like do so well um when like the end of last year and the beginning of this year when I decided to restart I didn't really know how well my grades were gonna be I just sort of thought oh well I haven't revised this and I need to so if I go back a year then it will be easier for me to revise and I'll do a lot better but I didn't really realize how much better my grades would be if that makes any sense <laughs> um, so yeah that's basically all the work that I did for week um, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I shall see you again next week Bye.